We received an interesting question that came in recently. I'd like to address it to you right now. The question was, what happens if Jesus comes back and we're sinning? Scripture does make a very, very strong emphasis on the fact that there will be what Christians call the second coming. You remember when Jesus ascended back to the Father from the Mount of Olives, the disciples were looking into heavens, seeing him go, and the angels said to him, why are you standing gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus whom you have seen go into heaven will so come in similar fashion. That was, that was a very straightforward promise on behalf of Jesus at the moment of him returning to the Father. In addition to that, Jesus, speaking to his disciples, on one occasion had said this, Now, don't allow your hearts to be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Then he went on to say, In my Father's house are many mansions, and I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go away, I will come again. So here are two very strong statements, one from Jesus himself, one from the angels on the day of his ascension into heaven, promising that he will come again. Now, uh, Jesus talked about this in, in the form of parables, and we're, we're familiar with parables. We've talked about parables before. They, they were stories uh, that conveyed deep spiritual truth, but they were very simple, interesting stories that ordinary people could listen to uh, with, with profit. And one of the stories he told was about a wedding where the bridesmaids uh, had a, a certain duty, and that was to welcome the bridegroom when he arrived. And uh, he told the story of the, there were 10 bridesmaids Five of them uh, had lots of oil for their lamps and others didn't have very much. And uh, what, what happened was that uh, there was some delay in, in the bridegroom coming. Uh, five of the girls realized that their oil was running low and so they, uh, they panicked and wanted to get some from the other girls and they said, no, you better go and get some from, from the store. So they went off to the store, and sure enough, when, uh, when they were gone, the bridegroom arrived. And Jesus said, that's how it will be uh, when the, 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 the Son of God, or the Son of Man, comes again. What, what he's really saying here is this. One, one thing he does expect his, his people to do, Jesus, that is, he, he expects them to be watching for his coming, to be living in anticipation of his coming, not becoming careless about it, forgetful about it, and becoming absorbed with other things, but to be watching for the coming again of the Lord Jesus. So there, there are three things uh, here then that we notice. That first of all, he, Jesus, after he, uh, while he's been gone away, before his return, expects us to be watching. He expects us to be waiting, and he expects us to be working in the kingdom concerns. Now, I'm I'm not responding to the question here. What happens if Jesus comes back and we're sinning? Because the, the focus of the believer in the Lord Jesus is not in what, 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 which sin can I do and what happens if I sin. The focus of the believer is uh, he's coming again. I don't know when he's coming again, but one thing I'm going to make sure is this, that when he comes, he'll find me watching for him coming. He'll find me waiting for him coming and he'll find me working for him coming. What will happen if he finds us doing that? This, we're told specifically, we are told that if he finds us waiting and watching and working, we'll have proved ourselves faithful in what he's given us to do, 
And then he says, if I find you faithful in doing what I've given you to do, I will give you more responsibility and more opportunity in the coming, in the kingdom, in the coming kingdom, and you will reign with me for all eternity. So don't be thinking about sinning, thinking, be thinking about waiting and watching and working for the coming Lord Jesus.